Was Happening World. I'm your host, The Wizard of Was, Thank you, Wozniak. And this week, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. All right, y'all. So I know we, we do, we try to do movies from all different genres. We try to talk about topics of all different kinds. And if you've listened to previous episodes, we just did uh, Brightburn, which was very anti-superhero. And now we're getting back into the good old trenches of Marvel. So let's dive in. So you're a big Marvel head. Yes, I am a huge Marvel fan. I collected comic books in the early 70s and 80s and onward. And uh, I, I love the Marvel franchise. All right. So what would you say your history with Doctor Strange is? I have numerous you know, things with Doctor Strange. I was watched, I read his solo books. I've read him when he was with the, the Defenders. He actually made a group called The Defenders. They made a show on HBO called The Defenders. But oh, it was on Netflix first, mm-hmm. but now it's on HBO. Uh, no, it's on Disney, sorry. But uh, Doctor Strange started that group. And, okay. Um, the people that were in it on the show weren't the ones that originally started it, but that, I, that I, I digress. Okay, so very cool. So I didn't really know about Doctor Strange until I saw the first movie. I thought it was really fun. Um, and then obviously once you watch one Marvel thing, you got to watch a billion other things to even know what's going on. Yes. And that landed me into WandaVision. And here we are. Now, um, uh, off camera, or off camera, off mic, we were um, having a little bit of a disagreement about Wanda. So did you watch WandaVision? Yes. And what are your thoughts on it? So I read the books of Wanda's digression into madness. Okay. And I thought they were incredible. The very first episode of WandaVision, since they didn't tell you like or give any kind of thing about WandaVision, I think a lot of people were thrown off by it because it threw people into the like like 60s and 70s uh, television show dra- mm-hmm. like like aspect so i think a lot of people were thrown off by it and they didn't like go past the first episode that's their mistake because wandavision is actually really good as far as like describing wanda's uh dementia okay so i loved wandavision yes i thought it was one of the best marvel things i have seen i thought elizabeth olsen acting was amazing but i no, i didn't read the book so we are coming from two different spots here but i did not view this into a descent into madness. I do not support or like the villainization of Wanda that is happening because I really, I really feel bad for her. Yes. And I feel like she represents, okay, but keep going. I don't want to, I can talk about this, but I want to hear what you have to say first. Okay, so the story of Wanda, if you know that she's Magneto's daughter. Right. Right. Her brother is Petro, the Silver. Um, Flash. Well, um, Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Who's dead. So, who's dead. In the books, he's not. But, um, so she's actually come from a really messed up family. Exactly. Like she has. And uh, she came from a war to city. Right. And then she comes to the, the Avengers. And it, see, in the books, there's like a whole long stuff that happens before she ends up meeting Vision. And then she ends up meeting Vision. He becomes her, the love of her life. He humanizes. And he actually, in the books, he becomes a human. And he spends time with her. And they have children. So and they then, have real kids, not these made up kids. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Then, See, okay. then you find out that it was all Wanda's mind, and this is what she wanted. And then right. when reality kicks in, I believe it's Doctor Strange that pulls her back into reality. And like then she she just can't deal with it. She's like, oh my god, you know. So all this is gone, like gone. Like anything she thought was real is gone. And then she snaps, and she causes all kinds of chaos. Like and she brings the dead back, and she does all kinds of. She really goes all out. I agree with you. It's not her fault. I mean, it's her fault. But it's not her fault because she's dealt with so much and she's gone through so much that she's just in agony as a person. And like her inner agony overwhelms her her senses, if that makes sense. I fully agree with that. And I view Wanda as sort of this representation or like embodiment of like grief and depression and loss. And I feel that with her going into the into this like maddening state of like hurting all these people is just it's like okay so if you're depressed and sad all you do is hurt other people I don't like that message I don't because I feel like Wanda deserves empathy she has nobody she was shut out of the Avengers she's lost vision she had to kill him bring him back to life and then have him get killed again like are you kidding me and then so then she's like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to run off. I'm going to find a little bit of peace. And is she wrong? Yes. Is she wrong? Yeah. But I get it. Yeah. I mean, her brother Pietro got killed. And then she goes into Vision's arms. And then Vision gets killed. And like, then her kids are not real. And then like, there's all kinds of stuff that happens to Wanda that you kind of sympathize with this woman. Her kids do become alive, though. Oh. They, they become uh, uh, Wiccan in speed, okay. which that's later on. 
But then, but at the same point, though, she was also abandoned by this institution that brought her in and ma- like made her kill the love. Like, yes, she met the love of her life through this, but they also abandoned her at the end of it. She had nobody. She was left. No, that's not true. Because when when the, the space person goes to kill her, she says, look at you. You're by yourself. You're alone. And then um, the Valkyrie comes and says she's not alone. And then the girl from uh, Wakanda comes and says she's not alone. No, yes. But I'm saying... Out, not in battle. Yeah. Not in battle. Yeah. I'm saying in the aftermath of battle. Yeah, but I think that was the like to say like you know these people were her support like they were going to support Wanda no matter what. I think Wanda, as we were talking about before, people like that lost people go into a state of depression and go uh, seclude themselves. Right. And I think that's what Wanda did. She made her own town. She yeah. made she cl- secluded herself from the world. Right. And I totally agree with that. I did not get that. From the scene in Infinity War, though, in Infinity War, I actively hated that scene because it felt like they were like, we are going to take all our female characters yeah, that was and we're going to put them in one setting yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be like, hashtag feminism. Yes, that was kind of. <laughs> and so I don't think I don't think when they made the movie, obviously, the point that you made that, yes, yeah, she was supported within her other super her other female superheroes in battle. But I don't think that was the point that they were trying to make. I think they were trying to be like, yeah, we see it in the boys. Girls get shit done. Like, oh, yeah, the women can the women. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, okay, yes, women are fucking strong and beautiful, but we can't demonize their pain. And this is the part that I did not like about Doctor Strange is that she was constantly demonized by her pain in the into the other world that she basically when she's confronted with all that she's done, she's like, yep, she it was fucked up. Yeah, Wanda, you did kill a bunch of people because of this grief. And then what she dies? No. Yeah. It was kind of. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, Do you know who China is? No. China was this professional wrestler. She was a big, muscular professional wrestler, and she broke the doors down for women wrestlers, Mm -hmm. basically. But then the company abandoned her. That's Wanda, right? Exactly. And then she fell into alcoholism, depression, and destroyed her life to the point where she died. That's Wanda. And I was watching Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness, and then I I came across China's documentary on uh, Amazon. And I was like, let me watch this. And I watched it and I was like, oh, my God, the similarities are ridiculously. That's insane. Why? So and this this is I'm so mad about that. And I am going to go watch that documentary because that breaks my heart because this just shows that men. I'm going to say men, men are going to pander to female audiences but not care about the women. Yes. And that's listen, you got to watch the thing about China. I hate to bring this into this because it oh. was a tragic story and it was a real life story. But if, if you see the, de- the delving of like Wanda and the delving of China, it basically it mimics each other. It's heart- That's heartbreaking because I don't I can't speak to China, but in Wanda, it, she deserved more. Yes. And better. Yes. And that is exactly, and it sounds like China. Yes, and that's exactly what this goes into because they basically abandon her and like she's built. Uh, professional wrestlers are built like super, like they look yeah, like superheroes. Huge. People view them as superheroes above human, and the fact of the matter is, they're they're human. They're human. And they're Wanda hu- was human. Wanda was human, and tragedy is hard. And when you're abandoned by the situ- by the institutions that build you up, yes, yep. And then you're demonized for that? Yes. No, that's going to obviously fuck with you. Yeah. Why Why? Why are you like the sacrificial lamb? That's bullshit. And uh, there's a very good part where Doctor Strange and her are up in, in, in the air. And she says, listen, if you could be in a place where you, you're, you'd be with that one that you love. Would you do it? Would you do it? And, and he thought about it. Yeah, and he thought about it. And I think anybody would think about it. Of course you would. But you doesn't mean you do it. Right. Exactly. But for her, it was like. She had no one. She she basically, she got this book that basically controlled her. And, and it was like gave her a glimpse of what could be. Like you don't have to have to live in pain. You don't have to be living alone. If you use me, I'll let you have everything you ever want. Exactly. But that's temptation. That's, exactly. But then, but then it's like, okay, if you're at your lowest and you've lost everything, you're fully abandoned and this is offered to you, yeah, you're probably going to take it. Think about it. Think about it. That's how a lot of people get hooked on drugs. A lot of people get into prostitution. I mean, because you're at your lowest point in your life everything's gone wrong. And if someone offers you a breadcrumb, you're going to take you're it. You're going to take it. It's like, I just watched the movie Nightmare Alley. Yeah. And it goes, it goes along that whole thing. Obviously, it's based on a man's story. But you see him 
come from nothing, rise to power, lose everything to then be turned into what they call a geek, which is just like a drunken person that everyone makes fun of who eats live birds. Like it is so crazy that you can ha- be everything and be on top of the world and then you can lose it all in in a second. Yes, I, I actually, I've worked in homeless shelters and I've seen people that were like multi-million dollar businessmen oh, yeah. who have lost everything and they are basically living on the street like like, like paper over them on, on park benches because they've lost everything and then once they lose everything i think it's their inside of them it it makes them feel like they can never do it again and that's the wrong way to be because yeah you you can always do better but i think having it all then losing it breaks people oh absolutely and wanda was broken she all she wanted was a family that was reverber that was a common theme for her she wanted a family and at every point her family was ripped away and i think that's why she hated dr strange because she was like you didn't have to give thanos the time stone and he's like no i did yeah and i think like the fact that wanda used the 60s and 70s um television shows because that represented what family was supposed to be back then and she watched them from war-torn area and that's all she had and then her family got blown up like watching television they got blown up and killed and all she had was her brother pietro and then her brother Pietro dies yep. by the same institution that's rising her up and trying to be like, no, you still got to fight for us. Yep. And if you think about it, she was her and her brother. Once they fam- family died, I want to say like the Russians took her and they used her and manipulated their powers with Pietro to use them against the Avengers. Then, exactly. Then they turn and the Avengers take her and then they basically use her constantly. All she yeah. does is getting used. All she wants is a family. Right. And she just wants to live. Alone. She says that when her and Vision are alone and she says, this is what I want. Yeah. She goes, why don't we just stay here? Why don't we why don't we just not do anything? You know, and he's like, we have to. And she's like, why? Why? Why do we why? have to? And, I will, and then when they come and attack Vision, that's when she kind of, you know, she's like, oh, hell no. You ain't going to attack my man. Yeah. Which is good for her because I feel so bad for Wanda. So. This obviously is part of Doctor Strange, but we can talk more about that. I know we've been focusing on one area of Yes, Wanda's pain. Wanda's pain. Wanda's pain. But I found that that was a very weak spot for me. So watching this movie, I was going into it because I love Sam Raimi. I am a huge Sam Raimi fan. And as I was watching it, I was getting pissed because it felt like Sam Raimi came in one to make a horse, a horror esque movie, superhero movie, which he had all the material with Doctor Strange and with Wanda to do those crazy like visuals that he's known for. And it felt like a lot of Marvel studio notes being like, you got to punch it up. You got to make it fun. You got to make it family. You got to make it this. And I was like, I'm watching two separate movies right now. Yeah, because it was dark, but it wasn't as dark as it could have been. It should have been fully dark. Yes, because if you read the books, it's very dark. Wanda goes very dark on the world. And this this is a dark story. If you're dealing with these themes, this is a dark story. You don't, I, I was, I was like, where? It was sometimes you would see it and it was great. And I was like, this is what I want to watch. And then other times I was like, okay, who invited, who invited the executive producer to come down? And make all these changes, like right. And I was mad that they killed her. I was so mad they killed her. Like I get it. I mean, I don't. But you, you don't have to kill every villain, and you don't have to kill. She wasn't even a villain. She wasn't even a villain. She was depressed. Yeah, she had issues, and she had issues that like people deal with on a daily basis. She needed help, right? And like they never helped her. They abandoned her. Right. All they did was break her, and And then make her the bad guy. She even says she goes. I break the rules and I'm a bad guy. You break the rules and you're a hero. And right. it's like, it's such a true dichotomy of like what it is to be a man versus a woman. Right. And, you know, it's, it's, it really is. I mean, if you think about it, when a woman does something, like, I'll, I'll show you something. A man sleeps with a bunch of women. He's a stud. A woman sleeps with a bunch of men. She's called bad names. And it's not fair because it's the exact same thing, but it's stereotypical, you know, oh, look at him. He's a stud. And it's like, oh my God, look at her. It's because it's sorry. I'm not. No, go right ahead. It's because we look at because everyone's looking at through the male gaze like or like the male perception of like what they think the world should be. It's like, oh, well, if I'm a man, I'm going to sleep with a bunch of women because that raises my value. But I only want a woman who slept with no man because I know how disgusting men are. So why would I want someone with a bunch of men? No, that's not true. People have sexual agency. People can do what they want just because it's what you deem a desirable. Who made you judge and jury? Yes. And also, if you're sleeping around, you're a hypocrite. Yes, I agree 100%. I feel like that's this movie. Yeah, and like... We got fucking Doctor Strange trying to find Christine in every universe. She's like, I love you in every universe. Well, guess what? I bet Vision would love Wanda in every universe if yeah. you let her. Yeah, and Vision Vision isn't dead, though. He he left. He was white. He was white yeah, Vision. Yeah, he was white Vision. And 
doesn't White Vision and Wanda exist yeah, in it, House of M? Yes. Yes, they do. And White Vision actually like heals Wanda kind of because he comes back. So then why are we killing Wanda? I feel this goes into like the Spider-Man. Okay, so yeah. And so you do have to watch Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, so Far From Home, I think Marvel got the idea that we can't kill these villains. We then can't. they killed Wanda. Yeah, but but see, they brought all the villains back that they killed. They brought, you know, Doc Ock. They brought... Right. Yeah, so they brought all them back. And I think they realized in the books, these people don't die. They don't die. No. I mean, and if they die, they come back. Captain America's died like 17 times. Spider-Man's died like five. Iron Man's died like seven. But yeah. they bring them back. So hopefully they bring back Wanda because it's bullshit if she's... They shouldn't have killed her, first of all. No, because her character is so awesome. Like And so complex. Yes, and there's so much more to tie into Wanda because she's she has to they, they have to tie her into Magneto. Right. Because Magneto's her father and her children become alive. Like uh, Wiccan and Speed become part of the young Avengers. So I mean there's all and they are building up to have the young Avengers, by the way, because they are showing Wiccan and Speed. Then they have Ironheart, Iron Man's daughter. Then they have did you see Winter Soldier? The T V show or the movie? Falcon and Winter Soldier? No. No? Oh well in that there is a black Captain America and after Steve Rogers dies, they bring him in and they treat him like crap. Like afterwards, and he's angry because they don't, they basically blow him off history, but he's part of history. Well, he has a grandson, and in the books, the grandson has his blood, so he basically doesn't realize it, but he's a super soldier. Okay, so he becomes cool. like a young Captain America. So they bring this force together yeah. called the Young Avengers. That's cool. Yeah, it will be hopefully if they do it right. If they do it right, but they already killed off Wanda. Well, maybe they'll bring her back. Who's to say? So, um, but yes, in Spider Man, they bring in they enter the idea of the multiverse, so they bring in. All the other Spider Mans. Yes. And all the villains. Yes. So I liked that. I did like the Spider Man. I thought it was fine. I'm having this problem with Marvel, though, where their sound mixing and editing, awful. Yeah. It is so bad consistently. Yeah. The green screens, crazy. Stop trying to push out all these movies. Maybe focus on making a good one. Yeah. I mean, I think they're doing the same thing that DC did. DC made a bunch of crappy superhero movies. Just to make them. Just to make them. They threw them out there hoping that people would rush to the theaters to watch them. Nope. And it didn't happen. I mean, the last Suicide Squad was the most garbage thing I've ever seen in my life. The newest one? Yes. You know, the one with the, the gigantic starfish that was the villain? Yeah. That was awful. I'm trying to think if I watched it. Oh, don't. <laughs> I don't think I saw either of the Suicide Squad movies. Sui the very first Suicide Squad, Will Smith, was really good. I liked it a lot. But then they came out with the second one, and it was just like they just threw it out there to have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just put it out there because they knew the first one did success, so they threw it out there, and it was just terrible. I feel the same thing with uh, Wonder Woman 82. I didn't see that either. So, oh, I don't watch a lot of DC stuff. Garbage. It was so bad. Was it? That's yeah. too bad. The only good thing about Wonder Woman 82 was at the end, they brought Linda Carter back. Oh, the original, cool. original Wonder Woman, and she's awesome. I love you, Linda Carter. If you're listening, or if you have anybody that listens, tell Linda Carter she has a huge fan because I watched Wonder Woman when I was a kid. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. That's cool. But then, okay, so then tying back to Doctor Strange, they brought in a lot of people for this movie. Yes. And first of all, I loved watching Wanda kill all of them. <laughs> yes. Oh, the Illuminati. Oh, That was so crazy. The Illuminati, I was like, Jesus Christ, you guys. Like, just tell me that you have bot scanning, like, it's social media for keywords. Um, Yeah, the Illuminati. I did like, um, I did like that Peggy was Captain America. Yep. And I Captain Britain. Captain Britain, my mistake. And I did like that they brought back the other pilot from Miss Marvel. I forget her name. Oh, Miss Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Yes. And I like that she was Miss Marvel. Black Bolt. Yeah, Black Bolt, but he didn't have a minute. No, he wasn't. He's he's actually the leader of the Inhumans. Okay, which comes in later on. But um, he's dead. Yeah. So the thing about the Illuminati, that's not the Illuminati. Okay. Like in the comic books, the Illuminati is, it is Reed Richards. Okay. It's Doctor Doom, Namor, Doctor Strange, and I want to say Iron Man. Those are the Illuminati in the books. Well, I like in this one it had more ladies. Yes, that's true. But in the books, they're the ones that ship Hulk off the planet. Okay. So they kick Hulk off the planet and he becomes Planet Hulk and all that other stuff. But then he comes back and he realizes that they're the ones that kicked him off and he crushes Dr. Strange's hand so he can never use magic again. That's and awesome. He basically destroys the Illuminati, goes one by one and just messes them up for what they did to him. So I, I was happy they brought the Illuminati in, but I was like, that's not who they are. But yeah. Well, maybe this was like, a, maybe this was just 838's version of the Illuminati. Right, yeah, right. So that's what I was thinking too. Like, who's to say it's like the end all be all? But like, I, one of my favorite shots in the movie is when we see they bring back patrick stewart yes. okay so oh yeah and, and patrick stewart is in the original yes so i i also thought that it was cool that when these characters were played they did play their original themes like yeah like the 97 x-men theme like i was like okay that's, that's 
cool. I, yeah. I'm into that. Yes. But I thought one of the best scenes, and it's because it was one of a great Sam Rami scene, and you can tell, is when Wanda comes in in the vision, in like the dream state and like snaps his neck oh, in yeah. his mind. Oh, my God. That beautiful. Was awesome. That was awesome. It was beautiful. And I know a lot of people online are hating on the little montage of um, Wong talking. Yeah. They're like, what is this cheesy 90s? That is Sam Raimi, baby. Mm-hmm. You're Just tell me you hate a director and you're uneducated because I loved it. Yeah. The horror elements of this movie were the best elements of the movie. It was a great movie. I mean, it was well done, well written. I don't like the fact they killed Wanda. I hate um, that thing. I, is Do- Doctor Strange, he is becoming one of my least favorite superheroes. Well, in the books, he, comes, he becomes rather dark. Uh, and they've kind of alluded to that. Yeah, I don't get the third eye. So is he the dark hold now? So Doctor Strange becomes evil. He becomes possessed. It. The dark hold gets a hold of him. And basically that third eye is... His evil eye. Yes. And okay. it's, it's, it's basically the dark hold. So I'm thinking that they're going to do something with the dark hold and bring Wanda back because he is evil now. Yeah, like, they got to bring Wanda back. Yeah, and... He's possessed, and I thought that well, what's the guy from The Evil Dead? Oh my God, Bruce Campbell! Yes. When he was up there selling pizza, that made me laugh. Yeah, it's just two best friends of wanting to hang out on a movie set. So Bruce Campbell at the very did you watch the very end scenes? I just watched with uh, Charlie Theron. Okay, so there's one at the end with him. Oh dang! Yes, and he says, you know, basically he's going to come after Doctor Strange. So it plays so into... So 838 Bruce Campbell's coming after Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah, he Oh, is. my God. Please tell me if we're getting some Evil Dead references and I get Ash with a boomstick, please, God, <laughs> tell me that's what's happening because that's what I want. That would be awesome. I love the fact that Bruce Campbell was in it. He's just so funny. He's and, so funny. And like when like she's walk, America's walking away and she's like, what's that, last like an hour or two? He's like, yeah, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks so, so i love i loved it i'm i'm gonna have to now skip most of the movie just to watch that scene right I okay mean, but were we introduced to Charlize theron in a different movie because or was she just a new character this like purple suited up character talking about i think we, they said her name was cleo oh oh no she's actually she's a sorceress okay but this was dr strange this was the first time we've met her right I didn't, so that, I was lost, because obviously I'm slacking on my Marvel stuff, I have not watched a lot of it, but I was like, oh, Charlize Theron, who is she, but this is a new, the first time we've seen her. So she is actually a Sorcerer Supreme from another realm, and she plays a big part in the comic books. I don't know how they're going to do this with her in this universe, but that's who she is. Okay, very cool, very cool, very cool. I dig it. So, back to Doctor Strange. So I have seen, now have you seen the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once? No. Okay, so I have. And I've, I saw it in theaters. I saw it obviously before I saw Doctor Strange. I watched Doctor Strange this morning. And I thought that that movie tackled the multiverse and the ideas of like connection in the multiverse better than this movie. Because this one, it, like when we have this moment between Steven and Christine, when he's like, I've loved you in every universe. And it's like, okay doesn't really hit though because she doesn't love you dude like right. i don't know i just felt like i'm gonna have to watch stephen strange pine over someone that doesn't want him in a billion different universes because he's upset <laughs> like i don't care right i don't know well that kind of goes into like obsessive compulsive behavior i mean well like, he if is someone obsessive. Doesn't love you if someone doesn't love you and then you chase after them and continue, then it becomes borderline creepy he is kind of on bright part just on paper right See, if you guys watch all our, if you guys listen to all our episodes, you'll get all our references. Right. And guys, if they don't love you, they won't. So they just won't. Let them go. Just let them go. Just, just love go. yourself. Right? Here's the thing. Be number one. Be number one. You're the only one living your life. Yeah. If you can't love yourself, no one will love you. Bottom, bottom line. Bottom line. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's so much. It's so layered though, right? Like, we can't say that. But back to Doctor Strange. Right. That's a conversation for a different day. Different day. So, <laughs> Doctor Strange, I can't wait for Doctor Strange to turn bad because I'm sick of him. And I love that everyone kind of hints at it. They're like, you're arrogant. You're selfish. You're bad. Like, you're... You're not the world's mightiest hero. Like, where did that even come from? Did I black that out from every other Marvel movie? So Doctor Strange was the Sorcerer Supreme, and he's not no more, by the way. No, he gave it to Wong. Well, he died, so Wong inherited it. That's kind of plays into Doctor Strange, because Doctor Strange is an egotist. When he was a doctor, 
a yeah. real doctor. He was an egotist. And this plays into his downfall because he was the Sorcerer Supreme and he had it and then he died. He, he feels that he sacrificed himself for the world. And then when he comes back, he felt that he should have the Sorcerer Supreme title. Nah, dude, you lost it. Exactly. So this is going to play into his like of how he falls into like corruption. So Good. if they do it right. If they do it, do it right, Marvel. Do it right, Marvel. Because, like, yeah, I love Wong. I hope he never stops being Sorcerer Supreme. I think he's the best one for it. Never should have been Stephen Strange. Because Wong has no ego, where Stephen is all ego. Right. And granted, when you're a surgeon and a doctor, you have to be all ego. You're doing a lot of things. I couldn't do it. But when you're a superhero or a defender or something like this, you can't have ego. Right. You can have some ego in battle, but you can't have ego. No. And the very opening scene where America and the, the alternate Doctor Strange are running through the multiverse and the creature's about to catch them and he turns on her and tries to kill her. And he's like, you can't control that power, but I can. It shows his ego. It does. And um, Christine says it. She goes, you always have to be the one holding the knife. Right. And then when he fights his alter ego in that tower who's using the dock hold even he says to him he goes oh you're all about power he goes you're no different than me and he goes i'm i'm 100 percent different than you and then when he throws him out the window and he hits on the the spikes the third eye opens in that dock strange yeah so you know that it's the dock hold that took hold of him and then when that happens in this movie you know the dock hold has dock, yeah yeah and i thought that was such a good callback to like see like the eye open yes. and then to see it at the end of dr strange open on him and then but it felt like in the post credit scene not the post post credit scene but in the post credit scene that he was able to control it because right. the eye just opened like here i am right and you know that's the thing his ego is going to let him believe he can control it. yeah but he can't no and that's the same thing that happened to wanda because she felt that she could she yeah, could but they're not going to villainize Dr. Str- well, they better villainize Dr. Strange. They should, because that's what happens in the books. And, well, they killed Wanda. That didn't happen in the books. Right? Yeah, no, it didn't happen in the books. But you know what? If they're smart, they'll bring Wanda back, and there's a lot of options they can take. I feel like we this, this podcast has been mostly about Wanda, even though it is called Dr. Strange, but I felt like Wanda was the best part of it. And, like, Sam Raimi was the best parts of it. Like when she was in the reflections and then like coming through the water. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? Gorgeous. Yes. Especially when they thought they had her trapped and she just touches the mirror and she goes, she goes into the mirror. That it was, it was a great, there was some great visualizations. It was really, really well done. There are these great visualizations yeah. because of Sam Raimi, yeah. not these dumb Marvel studio notes. No, I think that the only thing I didn't like, I love the whole movie. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that Wanda sacrificed herself to kill the Darkhold. And she didn't even kill the Darkhold. She didn't even kill the Darkhold. No, because it took a hold of Doctor Strange. Strange. And like, and I didn't, I loved, I cried. Okay, I will tell you, I cried when Scarlet Witch is faced with 838 Wanda and Wanda's like, know that they'll be loved and cared for. And I think at the end of the day, that's all Wanda wanted. Right. That's all she wanted. And to get that from another version of herself, I thought was so beautiful. But if she was supported by her institutions that built her up and abandoned her, then she would have realized this. They created. Yes. And when her kids become terrified of her. Oh, my God. That broke I think my that heart. realized that's when she realized what she was doing. Yeah. Like it took that moment. Of her children going, you're a witch, you're evil, leave us alone. For her to snap out of it and go, I'm doing something very bad. Right. Like, oh, wait. I Because you even see it. You even see her crumbling within herself of being like, I'm not a monster. I'm a mo-. And she couldn't even say it. She couldn't even bring herself. And it was it was so beautiful because she's like, she is a mother. Wanda is a mother. Yep. And all she wants is her family. Yep. So you got to watch it. You, you got to watch, watch it. it. Anything else you want to add before we head out? Yes. Don't forget to vote for us. People's Choice. We're in the film category. We love watching movies. We do, as you can tell, an array of movies, varying topics. Yep. Any movie, anywhere. We will listen. We will look. We will watch. And we will speak on it. We will. Unless it's a shit movie. Yeah. Actually, that might be more fun, right? Yeah, we'll probably <laughs> trash that shit, too. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have a great time. We'll be back next week with some fun surprises. Yep. Don't forget, we do have a contest going on where you can win Was Happening t-shirt. You just have to be a member of the Was Happening family, be one of our subscribers. And if you get a subscriber to sign on with us, you'll get an additional entry and we'll announce when we're going to draw it and it will be Kira drawing it on TikTok. So get your shirt. So be sure you listen to us. Be sure you follow us on all social media platforms. And again, just have a lovely day. Yep. And uh, tune in next time to Was